Welcome to Beers Per Minute. I'm Mick Pettit. I'm Devin Lopez. And that was a pause for Calvin because you heard he wasn't here. You know, sometimes it happens. Either he's dealing with a dirty diaper. Maybe uh, maybe she had a blowout. Ooh, you think that might have happened? I don't think so. And I'm okay Just not talking right up about the back. it thinking about it. Just, I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't, I don't we, we can. I, we can ask him later. We can ask him later. Nah, we don't need to. Because I, I have a question for you about that, but I mean, I don't oh. think we want to get into that right right away. Okay. Unless you want to start gagging right away. Oh no, I'd rather save that for the end. I like to save it, save the uh, oh, the big stuff for the end, the real meat and potatoes. Nice. So I'm gonna drink some White Claw. Um, okay. I bought this. I bought this case of uh, White Claw Surge, uh, a while or not a while ago, like two days ago. Um, <laughs> and there's still some left because they're not great. Uh, eight percent does the job, but no, nah, they're not 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 amazing. Not tasty. But but I have four left, and I have a D twenty. So I need you to tell me which one correlates with each one. So it's a range of five. Um, what flavors do you have? Uh, I have lime, or natural lime, cranberry, blackberry. Oh, and two cranberry actually, two cranberry. So do a three, actually. Do three. I thought I thought I had a blood orange left, but I, I apparently sacrificed it last night. Okay. That's rough to end up doing three. <laughs> three? We're talking about a range of about like six, like seven. It's basically a range of seven. So each well, seven. What, like, yeah, yeah. One through, yeah. But then one of them's going to have less odds than the other one. Well, like a what, one to five is, or yeah, we have one to seven is that one. One's the one ten, to seven, ten to eight to 14, and then 15 to 20. <laughs> Okay, what what which is each one? Fifteen to twenty is cranberry. Uh, okay. Eight to fourteen is blood orange. You know, uh, not blood orange. Li- I have li- lime or blackberry. Blackberry is the next one, and then okay. uh, lime is a one through seven. Li- Lime's low. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, I got a five. Get that lime. 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 Mm, natural lime. Ooh, look it. <laughs> Ooh, mood. That is that lime. Is. Oh, but the green screen. Okay, because I'm like, that's not <laughs> that's not the color lime should be. <laughs> Even the the tab. That's too. not natural lime at all. That's really cool. <laughs> I almost did it at the exact same time. Come on, here we go. Got to do it, and then. I'll see you cracked yours. So let's start with you, since everybody knows that I'm drinking the White Claw Surge Natural Lime. I'm drinking some Adventurous Penguins by Urban Family Brewing. It's a cold India pale ale. And Urban Family is from Seattle. Nice. Yep. It's okay. This is the only This is the only doable one actually. Cuz it's really limey. It's limey, and it's not, the sweetness kind of kills the alcohol flavor. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yours sounds really good, though. It's What's not the bad. percentage on it? It's a uh, 6.3, actually. It's really low. 6.3? That, that's not bad. I mean, yeah. that's 6.3. Yeah. Because usually, like, a nor- normal's 5. Your your lights are 4 to 4.3. Four, you really don't get anything beyond that. Well, I mean, for an IPA, I just feel like that's a that's a low IPA. Maybe. Mm, yeah, I mean, no, that that's about like right for like a standard a standard IPA. I feel. I was like uh, the King Tide that Wildman does. I think is five seven. For IPA, because oh, I, I think IPA true, yeah. is is mostly the the hops and how the flavors in that is, not uh, the ABV. I just um. I ended up uh, going to a brewery in town um, called Three Magnets, where they have uh, quesadilla tacos, which are super good. Um, Sounds sounds good. But they uh, 
I ended up I having a. Spanish, so I can understand what that word meant. What? I said I wish I knew Spanish so I can understand what that word meant, but it sounded delicious. But he yeah, is just the type of meat, and then queso is just oh. cheese. Well, but they're just okay. like they're like a. It's almost like a mix of like steak and rib meat is what they make mm. the burrito with, and they you put it in a broth. And then, um, oh, that stuff. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah. And they fry yes, it and then they have it the broth that you dip it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, anyways, mm-hmm. I've not had it, but I, I it's super so good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyway, so there was this uh, beer there. It, I've never heard of it before, but it was a Turpin's IPA. Um, hmm. So, and I, I ended up doing a little bit of research, very minimal, but apparently it's, it's specifically being brewed with. Um, certain like turpins to end up making it taste that way. But um, nice. anyways, it was really interesting tasting because it didn't taste like I thought it was going to taste. Like I thought it was going to taste really like dank and like yeah, musty. And it didn't taste like that at all. It tasted mm. so light, but then it just had some like, I don't know, weird like aromatic spiciness to it it was really weird it was very good i i don't love three magnets usually but this one was a very interesting beer and they're local in in Olympia, Olympia, or yeah. tom water olympia olympia downtown nice. uh i'll we'll have to try that because that sounds good i'd like to try that yeah it was pretty uh i forget what it was called it was something like i know that's why a lot of people like bex is because it tastes like weed like it, it has that like skunk, like that that real harsh. What, what was that word like, you said before though? What was it called? The um, the 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 the, the skunkiness. Well, no. What what you what was it? You said the, the people beer? like yeah. What's the beer name? Bex. Bex. I've never heard of Bex. Bex. Yeah, Bex. Yep, Bex. It's green. It's green bottle. It's Bex very beer. skunky. It's, oh, yeah, really? Bex is. Yeah, oh yeah, that is like one of that's skunkier than heck, man. Like it that is a, interesting. It, like if you like skunky beers, that's a good one. Like I enjoy it like on a hot day. It's nice. Round of fire. Mm. Yep. So it's from Germany, but it's owned by Anheuser Busch. <laughs> this is disappointing. Big beer, man. I know, Big Beer bought everything. That's really? why that's why you support your local breweries yeah. people. Go to your locals, buy all their stuff. I mean, you can get your Rainiers and your White Claws and stuff when you just need, and you're in a pinch and you just need something to hold you over. But go get the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Support local. Brewery. I know. I need to get some more. I we need to work on our beers because uh, I've been actually talking with Ryan. You're the about only one who and, knows how to do any. I don't even. I don't no, even know where to see, start. This is this is the thing. This is the thing. I've been talking to Ryan down here at Wildman, the actual head brewer, the owner of it. And he's going to work with us, and we get out, we find the recipes that we want, the kind of beer that we like, and we're going to go down to Wildman Brewing, and we're going to brew in his things. We're going to make our beers hmm. three batches at there. So we'll have everything. We'll teach us. I've done it before a couple times. It's, it's real easy. You boil grains, you're good to go. You make it sound Depending easy, how you hop but it. I don't feel like it's that easy. It it took me. I think Ty, did Tyler do it with me? I think Tyler came down and did it with me the first time I did it. Hmm. Actually, I have to text him. I think I, I think he did. Uh, and yeah, we just kind of sat around, drank some whiskey and other beers while we waited for our beer to boil. And yeah, simple. And then you got to wait three weeks. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's real, real easy. You make it sound easy, but I don't feel like it's still that easy. You just you can't just you can't just do stuff like that. Because if you can just do what? stuff like that, everybody would be doing it. It's called motivation, dude. You gotta have the motivation to do the things. Everybody wants to do the things, but unless and you money. get up off and your the lazy money. ass and do it, well, and the money. I mean, a bag of grains is like fifteen bucks. Okay. Like all the the hops, everything you need is less than less than forty dollars. That's a lot of money, man. Less than forty bucks, though. A lot of you can do it. You, a lot of money much, for. I mean, for lower a growler. Work. How much? How much beer do you get out is, of this? 
Uh, I got five gallons from my, my guy. Five gallons. How many ounces? Five gallons. <laughs> five gallons is equal to like over a hundred pints, I believe. Over a hundred pints? I th- I think so. I I, I think I, if 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 not, it's close to. Pint forty pints. Or no 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 forty pints. Sorry, yeah, it wasn't hundred. Like hundred was like, pints. Dear no, Lord. I'm, I'm thinking of the big one. I'm thinking of the big one because yeah, it was. It was very, it was very worth it because we we're trying to figure out money wise what you could make off of it or like how like what places make off of them. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's you get your money's worth out of it. Like, what's the difference? Oh, especially Imperial what? is uh, UK, right? Th- that's what those measurements mean, right? Yes. Okay. Why don't we have a cool looking sounding name like Imperial? I wish our we could call our measurements Imperial. We just we're America. US. Because we're America. You, you, you heard how I said that, right? Do you have to correct any letters in that sentence? Yeah, nobody says that, though. That's that, I, I do agree with It's Calvin. an old it's term. It's not an, it's old, an term. old term. No, it's not, actually. I don't care. America. 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 America it's the it's same thing. You, it's you ever not. heard of high-pitched redneck? Y'all come to America? Yeah, America. It, it's one of those things. It's Yeah. <laughs> you don't know the people I live around and the people I know. <laughs> My family's from Idaho, my guy. I'm just saying, I don't think I've never heard it before in my life, so I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, okay. Well, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Ooh, did I show you my new movie. You have not shown me your new movie. Go ahead, show and tell. Lone Wolf, McQuaid. McCade. McCade. Mm-hmm. I. There's a Q Chuck in there, Norris. so I don't know why it would be McCaid. Once again, I that's a spelling that's not accurate. Because the Q U, it's it makes the McCaid. It, it's it's dumb. we're positive it's not McQuaid. Yeah, it's McCaid. It's Chuck Norris. It's freaking Chuck Norris, man. The ultimate showdown. So I'm I was thinking we we need to have a, like a movies list that we need to watch together. Okay. Like, there's movies that you guys know, there's movies that I know, that I don't know of, that you, what ones you guys don't, you know. Sure, sure, Most sure. things I show you, you guys have no idea what it is. Right. Uh, I mean, I pretty much old. know most of things. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Um, but also, I have good taste in, in movies. Good taste in bad movies, at least. Um, <laughs> and we, we need to do, like, like a watch-along. I feel like that would be really fun. Explain like, to me a watch along. How do you watch along? What's a watch along? Like, like we we sit and watch a movie, and we record ourselves with lav mics or microphones as we watch the movie and commentate over it. If we want to, we don't have to like no script, no nothing. It's just like a watch along and watch the movie, and you know, get our laughs and stuff like that. People can watch along with us if they want to. It's not a bad idea. I think it'd be fun. I mean, cause I grew up on Mr. Science Theater. That was my jam. It is hard, though, because we do... Oh. I don't yeah. think that all movies can f- qualify as... No. They have to be free-use movies. That, r- well, no, 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 no. See, here's the thing. We don't have to We don't have to do that, because all we have to do is record our, our audio with saying, hey, push play now. Yeah, and they listen to the that's... audio over. Well, so, I mean, that's we'll a thing now, later. dude. That that's a thing people do now. I've done it. I, that's what riff tracks. That's what they do. So this like, is that's... like this is like, mm-hmm. hey, you know, like you don't have to like. No, this is like it's just like a this is like a put on dark side theory. of the moon just... while you watch uh, Wizard of Oz type situation. Yeah, 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 exactly. Put it put on BPM while you watch Lone Wolf Lone Wolf <laughs> McCade, and you know just let the the vibes just jam and just flow fl- freely through you. I don't know yeah, about that. I don't know about. I'm going to think about this one a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give this some careful I mean, thought. We at least need to have like a list of movies that we need to watch. Oh, like, absolutely, I mean, we should it, have a movie because watch I, list. there's some like Strange Brew. You guys have never seen Strange Brew. I've seen Strange Brew. Have you? Oh, right. Yes, you have. Calvin hasn't. Right. I didn't like Strange uh, Brew. Strange Brew is awful. Well, it's how much were you drinking though? Uh, I was stone cold sober at 15. Okay. Well, there you go. There's your problem. 
I mean, I was also sober when I first watched it, and it was hilarious and amazing because I love Rick Moranis and the other guy. I forget the other guy's name, but it's what if and you don't that, like Rick Moranis? It's fine. What if you what if you specifically dislike Rick Moranis? Why why do you dislike Rick Moranis? Because of what movie did he do? Home Alone? No. no. <laughs> How did I shock the kids? Little Shop of Horrors. What? Dislike that movie. Why? Worst why? movie ever. Ugh. Oh, why Ugh. do you not like that movie? I hate that movie so much. Why? Why, I, why do you hate I movie? don't know. It's just not a good movie. It's a great movie. My, wa- wa- my wife is probably in the other room very mad at me for saying that. Just she seething. loves that movie. <laughs> Awful it is, movie, it though. It's a so terrible good. movie. Mm, what What's wrong with it? What's, why I honestly it forgot uh, Rick Moranis was Dark Helmet. I totally forgot <laughs> about that one, though. That's a good movie. Yeah. I don't mind him in that movie. That's a great one. Um, That's a great Rick Moranis movie. Yeah, I, I just, I, the Little Shop of Horrors is awesome. Raspberry. Lone Star. You not get that? At no. All? I don't know what that no. is. No. That's, that's, that, that's a, a quote from, from Spaceballs. I have not seen that movie said. in forever. I, that, I didn't even remember Rick Moranis <sighs> was inside of it. Jeez. I don't know if he's inside of it. I don't know if he was in the movie, but I don't know if he's inside of the movie. He was inside of the movie. He's inside right. of the movie. <laughs> Sir, she's gone from suck to blow. I, I do remember <laughs> that. <laughs> Such a good, good movie. Mel Brooks is, is a, a great filmmaker. Yeah. He I, can just... say, I can say is because he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. He's just, you know... It was very time in the place for those for a lot of those movies, man. It it was, and so that, that's actually one thing that man. Yeah, I wish I wish the other guys were here because Swa would love to hear this. Like, what next thing I'm going to say here? The the whole thing about like, ooh, that movie didn't age well. You know, ugh, can't watch that now. I I disagree with that. Like, Ace Ventura gets a bad rap. Uh, you know, well, you can Lazy watch Saddles. it now. You just no, but wouldn't be able like, to ooh. make that movie now. Right, but it's the whole judgment of like, oh, you you like that? You watch that one? No, I don't think that. No, that I, do you get judgment from that? that? Is That's a, not what I've I no, pick up on it. There anything. has, yeah, there's been like, if you like it and you you know like, hmm. it's pretty like. I mean, you're if you like Blazing Saddles, I guess you're kind of a racist, aren't you? I think it's you. I think you. It's you have to have a understanding that there's a lot of um, not very uh i don't want to i can't think of the word that i'm trying to think of there's a lot of just uh controversial things in those movies i think it's just being aware there that the controversial yes. things in those movies and being aware that they are controversial perhaps not okay stereotypes <laughs> or anything inside of the movies but i think that that's the difference right. is it's okay to like the movie and it's okay to watch the movies but to watch it with the same eyes that you watched it when it came out <laughs> or, you know, Oh, I mean, see, and I, I kind of do with that. Like blazing saddles. I see it the same exact way as I did before. Cause I don't see like, I'm not, you don't see color racist. I'm not racist. Yeah. I'm like, I, I had black friends. I use the word a few times with, with those friends. <laughs> like, but, and I love, and I love when, that you're just, and when that, <laughs> When that happened too, those friends like, yeah, you you earned that. <laughs> it was like three times, but you know. Okay, hey, Hello. hey, everybody, look, we have Calvin here. Calvin, what's Calvin's up, man? here with us. Sorry. What is going on? I was. You are halfway through this episode. I was out in my yard working, and I didn't have my phone with me, and I didn't know what time it was. Oh, I'm really bro. proud of you for working. Yeah, you you we- actually look. I'm pretty good. Very sweaty. <laughs> you, you look good. Like your your hair and like the arms showing. This is the yes. first time I've worn this tank top. It's ever. not bad. Bro. I think I've you look better when you're before. sweaty and you've been working. Honestly, I both respect you more and you look better. Uh-huh. How's it going? <clears throat> you do. Not bad. Almost How's have. Almost have the whole uh, framework done on the ground. So tomorrow morning we can just start throwing sand in it. Cool. Um, oh, nice. Put the pool in. Yeah. Put oh, the yeah. Pool in. Devin's going to be here at I'm gonna 7 help o'clock. Him. Tomorrow. Like an actual Sorry. like concrete pool? No, no it's an above-ground pool, my guy. Oh, above-ground pool. I, I just said a, a underground or above. You said framing and stuff. Well, so not, I mean, it would be cool if you actually made an underground pool. 
Like you, you actually have it under the ground. Like under, a bunker. Just under, yeah. Like you like bunk, you a, bunker the pool. There's just a manhole in my backyard, and you open it up and climb down like twenty feet of ladder, and there's just a, like a pool under the ground. That's called your septic. Yep. <laughs> you can go yeah. swimming in that if you want. Yeah, it's a poop. Yeah, if pool. you want to. <laughs> That's a bunker. You pool. can see that on Reddit. There's a dude I don't that did that. See that. People die I can, in septic link systems. You. People have died in there. Yeah, because it's an enclosed yeah. space and there's fumes. Yeah. They've gotten trapped there underneath a, there. Mm-hmm. There was a chick that jumped into a porta potty because she dropped her phone in on accident and she jumped in and drowned. That's dumb. Wait, in, in a okay, it wasn't a porta potty. It was a no. A porta potty. You can't get stuck in a porta. Yeah, you can't there's get no, stuck in a porta potty. No so it, it had to have been a. It'd be like one of those camping toilets that has a huge no. tank underneath it. No, no, it, it was a, it was a porta potty. She got into it and she fell head first into it, and she couldn't get her. She got stuck like in it like like her legs were still like, up in the yeah air like she couldn't she couldn't get, she out? couldn't get out yeah and she drowned what yeah that doesn't make any that sense. happened that was a, happened a long time ago man i don't understand how that could even happen Weird. porta potties are That's like us. a couple feet of, of tank it's not right like and i i think she was drunk oh well that makes that makes i mean that's it. that's like that's like an adult drowning in a bucket yeah and it has happened hmm it has. It um, totally that, has. That sounds crazy to talk So, to me. hey, Calvin, look at my cool new movie. Lone Wolf Mc, McQuaid? McQuaid. <laughs> right? It's McQuaid. McQuaid. It's McQuaid. McQuaid. No, it's no, McQuaid. That's a, that's a it's Q McQuaid. and a U, my guy. That's, that's what McQuaid. I said. It's McQuaid. It's not McQuaid. It's McQuaid. Yes. No. McQuaid. Have you watched McQuaid. the movie, Mick? Yes. Have you? And they say have, McQuaid. Have you ever been to English class, Mick? I have. Mick K. You know that's that, what they you say. You know that Q U makes a qu sound, right? Yeah. Well, it's a movie from like <clears throat> seventy something so. where they couldn't when they couldn't pronounce words. Or quickly? no, it's 80, 83, 81, something like that. Chuck Norris. So it's a good movie. It's good. When I look up on when I Google it, it actually says it's McQuad. <laughs> McQuad. <laughs> That actually might be more accurate. <laughs> that, that's actually I think way better. Lone <laughs> Wolf McQuad. McQuaddy. <laughs> McQuaddy. I Nope, it says McQuaid, man. I think you might be wrong on this, Mick. No, I don't think When did I you know. watch this? I watched this a while ago, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been a bit. <laughs> I may have been really young. So, quit googling and have conversation. No, I'm actually quit, quit trying I to prove need, me wrong. I need and, to <laughs> and let's just have some conversation. Insist that is McQuaid Calvin because there's no way it's McQuaid. Late. So, it's definitely what you. Hey, what you been up to? Actually, what are you drinking tonight, buddy? Me? Yeah, I don't have a beverage yet. Well, you need to get a beverage. Someone's making me an old fashioned right now. <gasps> Ooh, nice, nice. But I literally, like, I came in, looked at my phone, and I saw Devin text me. And I was like, wait, what time is it? And then I ran in here. <laughs> awesome. So I did not have a I beverage got, planned. I got some of that White Claw Surge. Um, it's, it's not great, but it's doable, and it's working. Yeah. What's it taste Devin's like? Got, uh, uh, this one's lime. This is the natural lime. Why, why is uh, Devin bouncing? Because he's typing. That makes, it makes his whole house bounce? Yeah. Dang. Um, guys, I got my green screen behind me. You guys see it? I do. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty cool? It's nice. Yeah, it is. I have uh, I don't have a lot of background for it, though. Um, mm. I don't really know how to work them very well. I just, like, pulled a bunch of stock ones off the internet. Um, do you guys want to, like, help me figure out, like, what's a good one? Yeah, I mean the one you have is pretty good. You like this one's not bad. I do. It just doesn't really make any sense. It just says live, and it says on the website and YouTube. (laughs) (laughs) Live on the website and YouTube. It doesn't really make any sense. I just have a couple other ones. I I don't even know what these are. Looks like there's a horse or something. Like, I mean, it's just I don't really I don't really know what any of these are. They're really weird. I guess. Man, do you guys like that one? That one, that one's all right. I, like I mean, the horse one. You like the horse? Yeah, one? Yeah, horse is pretty good. Yeah, the horse is pretty horse good. Is pretty good. Um, yeah. I also have this one. I thought this one's pretty cool. Batman. Really, 
it was really edgelord i felt like right you guys like Very this edgelord. one it doesn't really fit with your aesthetic i don't feel like no do you have a fedora i could borrow maybe calvin would that be <laughs> you'd have to you'd have to change your clothes and your lighting in order for that one to fit i just i this one's pretty cool yeah that you're, one's more like you're a, too bright mm -hmm. and shiny to to fit into any anything from dc really you want to see a that trick one... Yeah, no, that no, no, that's not good. Okay, no, I, just, no, I was trying I to bring a different energy. It's, it's magic no. trick, my friend. Uh, okay, like this one's pretty cool, right? Like that one's like... gross. I hate that one. That's an original photo. This is like that is that Fortnite. is when Fortnite first came out. I hate that. That's when Fortnite was fun before it became garbage. It's and always it been garbage. Again. No, What's it's like when it was the. I was trying to. Just, I was gonna sing the Fortnite, Fortnite song. the I'm Fortnite not, song, like the, the, the I, I one with the that, kids. I'm, sing? I'm not a Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No idea. It's Chug Chug with you. <laughs> Why do you say it? Chug Chug. <laughs> do you guys know that song? I do not. Know I probably this one. don't know before, Chug Chug with you. It. We've established earlier that I am old. So, well, how can you know that this is an OG Fortnite picture? We don't know the OG Fortnite song. Because I got a number Fortnite. one victory royale, yeah. For a night, we bout to get down. Yeah, ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. It's yeah, through the it's, American it's super boys. cringe. It's one of the cringe. I love it songs so ever. much. <laughs> nope, never have heard that one in my life. Uh, I played Fortnite for cringe. a good <laughs> hot minute uh, until I played with some people who built a tower instantly, and I died like three matches in a row and i went nope screw this game i am done because i can't do that so basically you played so well that you got lobbied with ninja and then he just wrecked you repeatedly pretty much yeah 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 but 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 now it's fun now it's fun tell the people what we're <laughs> gonna be added... doing mick tell the people we're we're gonna be playing some games we're gonna be doing some Fortnite, actually. That's Ooh. one of the ones we're gonna be doing. We're gonna we have a thing. We're gonna be doing some uh, free to play games, and we're going to be recording some some gameplay in it. We figured that'd be some good, like in between us, just sitting here BSing and yelling at each other and arguing about DM Showing rules and stuff. Yeah, that one too. Uh, um, you know, being on time and all that. Uh. But they've got some really cool, really cool stuff. It's not just gonna be us; it's gonna be Swa. I mean, not not to throw some shade, but where you at, bro? Um, He's even later than me. He is actually. It's when, really this sad is early if for actually, him. If he actually wakes up like now, like after we're done, I'd feel really bad. You guys would <laughs> need to record another was, episode with did him. Did you? Did he think that like we were gonna wake up at nine? Why no, we, we said nine, 9 p.m. I'm pretty we sure. We said nine. Because we were like late enough that Swallow would just be awake. Did he think 9 p.m. for him? No. I said you 9 PST. You, you said, I said PST. He did do that. No, we're good. Ooh, did, we, did, you didn't send him in, we didn't send him an invite. We didn't send him a calendar. That's what happened. He we didn't send him a calendar. He said send him a calendar invite happened. when you figure it out. That's, it, it's on us. And no it's one's on us. Anything. It's on us. All right. <laughs> Scratch that. All right. That. He, he gave us one simple invite. instruction. Uh, well, that's. I guess that's. Yeah. Well, we suck there. Well, but uh, in other news, we are going to have some games. We're going to do this one. We have um, a bunch of other free-to-play games. Uh, Stumble Guys actually is one that I was looking at. Looks really, really, really Stumble fun. Stumble Guys. Free-to-play. Let's go. And we're going to just spend uh, some time and play it. Because why should you have to play all the free-to-play games to know which ones are good? You know? We will mm -hmm. play all of them, including the bad ones, and let you know which ones they are. So that and way you some. don't have to. I'll be able to tell Eaters. you which ones are bad before we play them. No, nope. no, no. We no, don't know no, until no. we, we play them. No, we I'll have be able to, to predict it. it accurately every time. Okay, and that's fine. That's fine. But you still have to test it out. But we have to play said, it. I just said I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna be able to give the consensus before I play it. But you can't. You can't play it like it's a bad game. You have well, to play I'm it. I'm gonna play it, and it's gonna be a bad game. That's what's gonna happen. But you can't play it with the pre, like the prejudgment of this is a that's bad game. That's impossible. Because I already, not. I've already it's formed not. my it's judgment not. as soon it's as I not. see it. Because you can do it. I've already you can formed do it. my judgment as soon as I see it. it nothing like that can make me Half Life. Not do that. If you play Half Life now, the original Half Life, like go and get an old school Half Life. That is a bad game. Yeah, I hated it. The story's it. great. It's a bad game. Can't play it. But 
Ty play. You can do it. You can play it. What else are we going to be doing? Someone, someone's here with my drink. My um, drink is here. Oh, what else are we doing? Ooh, there's smoke Who's coming out of it. Man, oh, Je- I know Je- who that Jennifer is. sounds different. Thank yeah, you. Like, you like twit all of it. You'll still have a twit though. You're welcome. Say hi to your bozos. They heard you say it. You're recorded now. You're on the internet. What's up, bozo? Yeah, immortalized forever. Yep. All right, okay. bye. I hate you guys. Bye. Bye. Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> and then who? I think who, that man is very pleasure? confused. This, about. Is, this is incredibly smoky. It smells like campfire. Did he smoke it? Nice. There was smoke in it. Yeah, I don't know if you're able to see it, but I I tried to lift it up on camera and show you the smoke. Is it because it? I let my fans go in because I'm hot. But as soon as he took it off, all the smoke went. Oh. Oh. So he burnt the the little thing and then. Yeah, he made he made smoky old fashions. That I have not had one yet, but I've been seeing them all. Devin would probably love it because he loves the smoky flavors. Um, So one of the other things we're doing is we are working with the creator of the contract RPG and we are going to be work- doing a couple little things with that uh very very soon I talked to him actually today so it's happening uh and then it's going to be a uh real play D&D style it's a it's a D10 system uh it's really 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 cool D10 system is different than D20 because it's less op. There's less like results you can get, right? Like it's more consequential roles. Like mm. you're not gonna get like eight to sixteen that kind of don't mean anything. It's gonna be no. Like, there's actually, mm. if you look at it, it's really interesting how the rolling dice works. There's a lot of different roles that can end up. Well, I guess wait. I see what you're saying. It is very weird how they roll it. It's not like a standard D. 10 system either it's really interesting no hmm. it's its own thing and he created this back in like 97 i think is what he said 96 97 and i met this guy i think i talked about it uh three episodes ago uh, i met him down a wild man and man i like I said i wish i could explain it the way that he explained it because as soon as he did i like yes that's that sounds amazing and easy yeah um, look at the website. But, it looks like it's really yeah. cool and easy. Yeah, go uh, it, check them out at thecontractrpg.com. Sure. Um, read up a little bit. Prepare for listening to us. Play it. Understand yeah, it a little bit. Be... It's free. Everything's on there. To... We're going to be the players, so yes. we're going to have a, a, a DM. So it's going to be going to be great. The creator actually is going to be the DM for us in this Ooh. the first little thing we do. That so, means we're going to have like the best DM possible probably. We are. And even when I asked him about like can we could we do like a like a 3 hour session he kind of went Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we cuz I mean you can they stretch these things out for a good 6 7 hours. Jeez, so like so 3 hours was like short for him. Jeez. That's like that like that's a that's a a good like newbie. Yeah mission newbie but he, uh, he yeah. obviously likes playing newbie longer sessions yes. oh yeah they he actually told me tonight uh that that it was the best game that they're playing was happening tonight i'm like oh no i have to work <laughs> gotta do this gotta record but ooh, that was a good pop uh, uh, that picked up very nicely that was very nice um yeah, I think is that that that's pretty much what we have on the docket for now. I think, right? Um, I think so. Is there any change to the format of what we're doing here tonight at all? Um, well, I mean, we haven't talked about it in length yet. Okay, never mind. Then there's nothing else we, to we talk about, about we right now. Talk, we have no, no, right now we haven't talked about it in length yet. Um, I know I mentioned on the the end of the last one of just like I mean, maybe we'll go back to a to just audio for like a month or so, just so we can get some other content. Mm thrown back in here because it makes it a little easier for editing on stuff for us that may or um, may not be coming up in the future yeah i mean that, that that'll just be we'll let you know when that that happens but um are we gonna talk yeah. about some draft topics maybe yes actually i would like to talk about some draft topics because uh we did talk about that a little bit in length too of we did the draft before and we did it we did it on my fly. style yeah we did like the, us on the, the fly and style of draft we came up with the the topic and, and and everything and we had SWAT here to to, <laughs> to judge. You know, 
ju- I was trying to, yeah, judge, judge is the word. I was trying to think of a, a more classy word, but to, or a bigger word anyway. So referee. Yeah, yeah, referee. Yep. To, uh, other words are that it would do that. To oversee. To proctor. To proctor the draft. <laughs> Proctor, yeah, yeah, like a he test. proctor. He, he's our proctor. Swaz the the proctor of all the, the draft. Oh, he's a draft proctologist. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The proctologist, yeah. exactly. Yep. Uh, so we did it that way, where we did more of improv stuff. Uh, so we want to talk about a little more of maybe we can do a try a topic and do a little more research just to, to maybe get a little more fun out of it. So what? Or um, not? Not 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 just not fun. I guess more. Um, engagement more like more talking between us i think because it like when we did it on the flight for me it was it had, it had a hard time thinking about what we did just at mm. that at that moment i mean that could have been the beers as well but you know less thinking more talking yeah so what, what do you have ideas for topics well um devin liked pirates that was one of his ideas. <laughs> pirates. Just pirates. <laughs> that, like, so, well, would you think in hindsight, your yeah. idea was actually genetic disorders. <laughs> My idea, I stand by. I think by, we can I all agree that, that pirates that was sound pretty more good. fun than genetic disorders. Pa- genetic, genetic disorders sounds like the best idea ever. So, I, with pirates, though. We're going to draft like, the best genetic disorders. I already have, like, three put, in like, mind. Would we have to, we put together like our best ship, like our best pirate crew? No, 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 no. no. Um, Something like that. I guess if you wanted to because, call it that, because because if, if you if because pirates is generic, so like if you wanted to like your best pirate crew, but you can only have one captain. I think like no, I don't like that. I don't like that on your ships. You're or, making or, a crew, so you pick five pirates to be on your crew. I, I don't want to think too hard about the whole crew aspect of it, but sure, if you wanted to put them all on the same ship. That'd be you up could to end you, up doing really. that. Well, I mean, yeah. like, but obviously, the best pirates are the red beard and and like yeah, um, nobody cares about the other. Yeah, like, who's gonna pick like the? the oh, there's the way deck, better the pirates than boys. those. That's what I'm saying. But like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, your crew doesn't have to be like the a crew of like oh a. I don't. Know, I, I think I would just pick five best pirates. What I was good. also thinking yeah. is, uh, but I think also I think, but five best pirates could be. An impromptu draft topic. That's like too short sure. to be a planned one, really. What I was thinking for one, though, and I still stand by this being a very good one, because this could involve some research that I know that we could end up coming up with some of these uh, okay. from our past, is best beers that aren't real. So mm. beers that are in fiction or movies or TV or whatever. I think all those are considered fiction. Aren't. I meant fiction, fiction, literary, literary. You meant literary fiction. Literary fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Any beers that aren't real, but are inside of something that you could actually that talks about it, right? Like, yeah. I don't want. I don't even want to bring up one, but I, yeah, I know I don't that name any, but I know. I know that your name. brain is automatically thinking of some that they there are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could, I could think of a couple. I can't think of the names. I have to do some like research on it because I know there's like a couple games that I've played or something like that. For, like, exactly. I, I like VR too, or like I guzzled it and like, oh man. It's I want I want to end up hearing like some real reasons why that beer is the best beer that isn't real. Okay, mm-hmm. that'd be good. So so the best best beer that isn't real. That could be a good one. Yeah. Best, best beers beer that aren't real. Yeah. That's a good one to research because there's a lot of different things too. Because it's not just video games. There's D and D. There's Pathfinder. There's Minecraft. There's you know like yeah, movies. they all have there's different shows, movies, just movies yeah. enough. Yeah, TV shows. But pretty much almost because people if they want if they want to use a real mm, beer in ooh, a piece of I, media, ooh, I have to write one down right now. Royalty exactly. So almost to, every I, single piece of media that has I know an alcohol in it is fake. Good. It's not real. Hey, Mick, Mick, we can't hear you when you're mumbling things over there, okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's if fine. you want to have something wanna, to add to the wanna, conversation. I didn't want to say the name of the beer that I, I just thought of that I that's going to be on my list. So, cause, so and, and so with this, so it's going to be how many? We do top four? Top four. I, would, I think the, the I be, like best five team. is always so, the best. No, four. So uh, I think four because if we do the – because if we're going to do the, like a snake draft, so whoever goes first goes down to the end, and then end goes first, back to the first, first goes first. Back at the end. Mm-hmm. I understand what a snake draft. 
Yeah. Do be. I'm, I'm explaining <laughs> for the listeners. I had actually some <laughs> weirder ones that I came up with that I don't really want to think about. Are you sure? really want to, those are more like if we were doing a post show, like that would be. That oh, would be okay. What if we do like, like grossest things people have ever eaten draft just so we can get Devin to gag again? Ooh, I was. Uh, I don't know if I could deal. I don't know if I could do that one because I know some. Because you'd have to research some gross things and then talk about it. I would just look up. I I would look up Fear Factor history, and that would be it. That'd be Fear Factor wasn't that gross. I was thinking about sexiest snakes. (laughs) Sexiest snakes. Sexiest snakes. Just the snakes that you feel are like the sexiest. You know what I mean? Do they have to be real snakes? I I mean, this is completely objective. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think they'd have to be real life, bro. That would be easy for me. There, there does have to be some parameters, like, um, <coughs> you know. Reference. But, yeah. There needs to be some Under, sort of I, reference for it. Some sort of you reference. You can't, can't create some like sort a, of sultry snake, snake woman. No, I understand. I, it, they would, it has to be in all, something. All five of my sexy snakes well, would be that's, lamias. That's another term, too. They'd be what? They would be. I, I heard it, a word. I wasn't sure what it was. I think it's, I think it's pronounced lamias. I don't think it's Lamia. I think it's Lamia. Okay. You heard something I heard else, too. I heard a B in there. I heard a B in there. <laughs> like, um, technically, yes. No. I thought it was... Um, I was trying to think of a tamer way. It is Lamia. It's Lamia. That's how you pronounce it. Lamia. I was trying to think of a tamer way to end up saying, like... <laughs> uh, no, never mind. I don't, I'm, I'm, pull, I'm pulling out of it. <laughs> Cross that out. <laughs> Cross it out? All right. Kill it. It's done. We're not gonna. We're not gonna name our five favorite lamias. <laughs> no. Do you guys well, have anything uh, else? Any other topics? Do Do you? Uh, I I mean, not really for draft wise. Swab um, Swab put a few on the chat. Na- I think National Park is a pretty good one. Be educational. So sexiest national park. Now, now, are we doing now? This is top are five we, are we, national are we parks that? you are we gonna... have sex in. <laughs> oh, now is. we're getting some. That there you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> or so like. Hmm. How about, how about gayest how about this music one? face to festival suffer? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you guys you guys all know what KOAs are? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's a K- campground. Campgrounds. Oh, KOA, got it. Yeah, yeah. They, have, they have the yellow sign. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. K- KOAs usually, depending on where you go, they have, they have a com- accommodations of you know showers or you know maybe a breakfast spot or sure. You know, mm-hmm. Usually it's out camping, but there's things. What it would be like your ideal KOA? Like what would what you would have to draw the most people to your KOA? Top five things you'd put in a KOA to attract desperate campers. Mm. Yeah, your dream. Yeah, I think KOA. that's a pretty long How draft. About that name, one, honestly. I, well, I mean, <laughs> we just do KOA draft. That's all it is. KOA draft was where we we figure out who has like what is the best KOA to draw people in. Like what 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 would you have in your if you ran one? Lamius. <laughs> I really need to look up this word because I keep on hearing something else. You hear, yep, yep. I, I can't it's all hear over what the I, place. It's just an all over. It's the not a B. It's an M. It sure sounds like a B when you say it. I don't know how. What else to tell you, bud? I think you're just hearing what you're thinking about. Maybe <laughs> I'm not. Why would I think about that? That's so specific, dude. I, you're telling me. You're the one thinking about it. I, I, mm. Like there's the, there's a couple like uh uh, uh what's it called like a. Uh, uh, the illusions where like a guy is saying he's just saying the same thing over again but depending on what word you read while he's saying it you hear different things hmm. type of stuff because your, oh, your yeah, brain yeah. hears what you what you're thinking mm-hmm. so like he's he's just it's just the same sound but depending like on what you something read something needle or whatever yeah like I, there was i saw like a list of 10 different things and it's just one little audio loop but depending on what you whatever you read you hear that in the audio yeah like the brain's weird like that so, I think maybe you guys are just thinking about something that that's not what I'm saying, you know? I mean, maybe. I mean, you're flicking switch pictures real fast. Oh, I mean, sorry. You be careful. Careful. I'll give it more. I mean, I wouldn't land time. on that one. Now nah, we're going to sure? on this one. Is Devin uh, putting sure? weird pictures a good up ending again? spot. So, do you have any would you rathers for us, Devin? I'll leave one quick I one, feel... and then we got to be done, though. One, one. You don't have an, a good little five fiber. Um, I got a one or. I we a actually one-er. have we actually do have an ask BPM question for the first time in a few months. Oh my god! I'd like we? to save that one if we could. You want to save it? Can we save it? Yeah, yeah, yeah save we it. Can save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. 
Okay. Um, would you rather take a shower but wear dirty clothes or not take a shower but wear clean clothes? Hmm. That's a difficult one for me. Um, I think it would be dirty with clean clothes because at least I would feel the, the clean fabric on my skin even if I was greasy. If I was, if I was, if I showered, if I just spent time cleaning myself and then I had to put clothes back on for my hamper, I feel like it was a waste of my time and my life in general. Um, but if it's the opposite, then, you know, sure, I'm getting the clean clothes dirty, but you get clean clothes dirty when you wear them anyways. So it's not that big of a change. So you're saying clean clothes, no shower. Yeah. Interesting. That doesn't make I your body opposite. cleaner. Yeah. I'm the opposite too. I'm no, immediately I'm showering the opposite. Clothes. Yeah. Because I mean, it kind of depends on You're still on taking the, a oh, shower. Like, so your body is healthy. Yeah. But, but, but then you're immediately kinda... putting back on your old steak. Okay, but your body is still healthy. You you can last for a day <clears throat> what in dirty clothes. What do you think healthy means? Not having gross sweat on your skin. But you're putting gross sweat back on okay, your skin. Okay, and then you take a shower later. But it doesn't matter. Your shower is negated as soon as you put your it's dirty clothes It's not, back actually. On. It's, it's, yeah, it is. It's just like re-upping for another eight hours. <laughs> your no, eight like, hours is good to go. That's not how it works, my guy. If you never the, shower, the, the it doesn't matter what clothes, clothes you put you on. Wore. The clothes aren't going to soak out everything out of your body. Your uh, body not, is I'm, a, I'm not clean, saying unclean. the clothes are going to soak the You're an unclean stink person. out. person. I'm just saying that if <laughs> we already established that like 18 episodes ago. If you spend all day ago. sweating into your clothes, the fabric will stink. And no matter how much you shower, the fabric will stink still. It doesn't. It I think it depends on what you do. Yeah. What the work is. Like how dirty are these clothes? Dirty clothes. Dirty, dirty, dirty clothes. Dirty boy clothes should not be worn. Dirty. Dirty boy clothes. Well, I mean, that's what they are. It really does. Like, because how many days of shower? How many days how, of shower? How many? How many days? How many days of not shower? I f I thought it was just once. That's not what you rather do with the rest of your life. It's would you rather do this or this? That's it. It's one time. Right. I'm saying how many days without a shower and how many days have you worn those clothes and not washed them? One. A month. 30 Just days. One. 30 days. Both. Three days. 30 days. 30 days for both. 30, 30 days, days for both. Clothes. Clothes, clothes 100%. So you're showering every day, but you're putting back on the same pair of clothes. Yep. Or you're not showering for a month, but you're putting on clean clothes each day. Yeah. I'm still that. I'm still that one. Ah, Gross. You're you're uh, gonna have your sores stink. all I, no, over I think your it's body. Just you guys are too reliant on soap in your lives. No, I, I, <laughs> I don't think I you're smell. reliant on it enough. That's, I don't need to be. That's what I, I think. Yeah, I think you need I to smell, be more reliant. I smell on great it. without it. I don't need it. It's not. It's it's not. You don't, your skin doesn't look healthy, but we've been trying to mm -hmm. talk to you about this for a while. Your skin. Actually, look you healthy. just told me that I look glowing because I was sweaty. So I you're a liar. I say you look good because I, I you look like you did something today. Because you're you're a liar. I didn't say that you look. You're lying. You. You just complimented me because I was gross. Yes. Yeah. So shut up. <laughs> because I'm proud of your your. You don't know what today. You, I don't trust anything you say anymore. <laughs> if you say, "Wow, you're sweaty," that's looks. You look great, sweaty, and then you say you're gross because you don't use soap. No, what's wrong with you? Those are well, conflicting you, ideas. No, I mean, no, no, they're not actually because yeah, one are. is one is cleanliness, one is just appearance. One is literal sweat and grime and dust on my skin and one is bathing without the use of accessories yeah and you think that the first one is better than the second one yep you got no you guys are the ones with the problem here not me that's fair <laughs> agreed that works. Agree. Works. well everybody this has been another episode of beers per minute and uh, I've been Mick Pettit. Who are you now? I'm Devin Lopez. Do we do this at the end? I don't think we do this at I the end. I have always so. been Calvin Mile. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we would also love to thank uh, Dusty Cubby for giving us the use of their theme song, Croissant, off the album. Fair enough. Uh, we also would like to tell you to go over to W.GG and get yourself some awesome stuff. Guys, do you, do you have something? Oh, I do what, have what? something, actually. Um, uh oh. 
so unfortunately, Dubby, um, one of their suppliers that they were working with ended up going out of business. Um, oh, no. So unfortunately, the flavor uh, Passion Joy iced tea is no longer in existence because there's uh. a supplier that made it. However, um, if you guys go to Dubby.gg right now, I was, and I'm just going to say it just in this episode because it's not going to last very long. But if you end up entering the code SUPPORT, you'll end up getting a free $30 hat in any order because they're kind of out of some money right now. So if you guys are listening to this episode and you want to go support Dubby a little bit, not support us, you guys can go do this. Uh, W.GG, enter code SUPPORT. You get a free $30 hat. I would say go do it. Do it. Uh, I'm I'm going to do it after this episode. I, I would have done that earlier. I'm going to do it too. I would have done that earlier. Um, but yeah, yep, going to do that because Dubby is one of the best energy suppliers we have. Like their their stuff is awesome compared to everything we have out there. It's amazing. So I still have a thing of ghost inside. Disgusting. <laughs> I don't use it. I don't use it at all. It's not great. I'll take it. Yeah. That just means you have to come down here. But we want to thank everybody for sticking with us. Uh, please go and subscribe to all of our socials. Hey, give us a review. Give us some stars. Tell us what you think of us. Tell a friend. Tell 20 friends. Maybe tell your pastor at your church. Or maybe go and tell your wet nurse or somebody. I mean, m- maybe go down to the local store and... Talk to the homeless guy that's right there waiting, you know, wanting some change. Just tell him to, to take out his iPhone and, and listen to some music. My God, you've been really tracking this long. So, <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> just, hey, just listen to us, everybody. All right. See you later. Bye. Beers Per Minute has been presented by Stupid Mythic Forest. New episodes come out on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Don't forget to rate and subscribe so you never miss a thing.